welcome to bsc statistics students in this lesson i explain the ratio of quartile deviation mean deviation and standard deviation of normal distribution it is uh, very simple uh, what i have considered here because so already i have calculated quartile deviation mean deviation and also standard deviation for all the values i have calculated so now i consider to prove this particular uh, uh, result in the examination we must have to calculate and prove what is quartile deviation we have to calculate we have to calculate mean deviation and we have to calculate also standard deviation and then only you have to take the values and then you have to prove this that is what the the particular thing you have to consider in the examination now because already you have i have calculated so you please consider quartile deviation of normal distribution is nothing but 2 by 3 sigma and mean deviation of normal distribution it is mean deviation means mean deviation about to mean mean deviation about to mean it is 4 by 5 5 sigma 4 by 5 sigma and standard deviation of normal distribution is sigma simply these are the values now what i have to consider the ratio that is uh, now i consider quartile deviation the ratio of all these quartile deviation is to mean deviation is to standard deviation so which is quartile deviation is 2 by 3 sigma quartile deviation is 2 by 3 sigma and mean deviation is 4 by 5 sigma and standard deviation is sigma so by cancelling sigma throughout uh, what you have if you want to specify the ratios 2 by 3 is to 4 by 5 is to 1 right which means for 5 threes are 15 and 5 twos are 10 here and 4 uh, threes are 12 here and 5 threes are 15 so therefore the ratio is 10 is to 12 is to 15 the ratio of uh, this is what the ratio of quartile deviation mean deviation and standard deviation so for example you have a uh, one particular value and its ratio the the quartile deviation mean deviation and standard deviation will be in the in the uh, ratios 10 times 15 times and 15 times 10 12 and 15 which you, which is going to be considered as the ratio of the quartile deviation mean deviation standard deviation would be in the mm, the calculation of the normal distribution for a normal distribution these are the uh, ratio values for example if consider for 100 uh, uh, 10% here you have 12% and 15% of course but it is uh, uh, if you consider here 10 12 22 22 and 37 out of 37 uh, um, particular out of 37 uh, 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 units uh, if you consider uh, 10 units are quartile deviation 12 units are mean deviation and 15 units are standard deviation this is what the ratio of quartile deviation mean deviation standard deviation of course you know this kind of ratio so that i need not to explain again uh, what is a kind of ratio is going to be considered um, for uh, uh, different values hope you understand this is what the ratio of quartile deviation mean deviation standard deviation 10 12 and 15 10 is to 12 is to 15 thank you thank you so much